Out of a thousand births in Nigeria, 429 of them end up as stillbirths. This can be a painful experience for a lot of women and also makes us the country with the second highest rate of stillbirths in the world. Everybody was expecting me to come back home with a child. I was just coming back home with nothing. My brain was just going through so many things at that point. I just wanted to, to, to die. So welcome to this safe space once again and helping me no cap where we are going to delve into this very intimate conversation to make sense of it. Today we are joined by Elizabeth and she's here to share her experience with us. Welcome Elizabeth. Thank you. If we jump straight into it, I want you to tell me how your reactions were, what your feelings were when you first found out you were pregnant. Wow, the feeling was, was so great for myself and my family. I believe of every, every parent is after marriage, the next thing is they want to see your pretty belly or they want to see, they want to hear you say, ah, I'm pregnant. How did you know that it was a stillbirth? On the delivery day. I labored for hours and you know, quack matrons, no, no scanning machine there. So nobody knew the baby had died already. Mm. I was just struggling for more than 12 hours. Not until the baby forcefully, because the woman had to press my belly there, popped out. Just, the baby was blue and that day, let me wow. say, I went to heaven and I came back. It was, it was quite an experience. It was, it was really terrible. It is rare that babies die during the delivery itself, even though it does happen. Most of the stillbirths, rather, happen during the pregnancy. But, you know, some women may notice that um, it's either the baby stopped kicking. Did you notice any of that? I felt still like two weeks to that time. Everything just stopped. But my mind didn't go there because that was my first pregnancy. Sometimes the medical conditions of the mother might also lead to a stillbirth. Things like diabetes, hypertension, especially hypertension that has been, you know, developed in pregnancy, could also affect the blood flow to the baby and lead to stillbirth. The higher the age, the higher the chances of a stillbirth. Also, the lifestyle choices of the mother can actually impact the baby. Things like smoking cigarettes, taking alcohol, could affect the blood flow to this baby and just might lead to a stillbirth. So we have some interesting comments from our DW Africa community. And uh, the first one is from Menken Martins from Cameroon. And he said, my wife had two miscarriages in a year. What can one do to prevent such happenings? Usually miscarriages that happen in the very early term of pregnancy, most times cannot be prevented first trimester. But I would advise anyone who is watching this to register for antenatal care as quickly as possible. This would help you stay abreast and help doctors catch any symptoms as quickly as they happen and most times help you carry your pregnancy to term. After stillbirth in some of our communities, most people tend to blame the woman, push her aside, ostracize her, always oh, because you did this, you didn't do this. Yes. Did anybody say anything like that yes, to you? Yes, yes. On, my, on the streets, people were like, ah, if I had gone to a better hospital, it would have happened. Some even said if I drank, so, so, so I go abs, concussion, yeah, it that been. it would have happened. Some were even saying it was because I stopped going to church. So many things. And how did that make you feel? So terrible. I would like. It was a devastating moment for me because I blamed myself. Because when the blames were coming in, I was pouring everything on myself. How did you get to this point? How did you cope emotionally? What, how did you find your way to recovery? Because I know it's not been easy, but you're here now. <laughs> yeah, the, the recovery process was, was not easy. Thank God for some support groups I joined. Hmm. You know, listening to other women experiences. What really helped me then aside the support groups, you know, I am fashion designer. But I just, I just wanted something else aside tailoring. So I learned a new skill, which is baking. Love it. Fact, Love it. <laughs> thank God I, I now have a 10 month old baby. Uh uh. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> so. A boy or girl? It's a boy. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> My husband really tried. Thank you, baby. That experience really, really made me see life different. Wow. Yeah. Do, you, do you have any words to tell 
Anybody who's watching this, you could probably look into that camera. Uh, Just one sentence. <laughs> Please don't blame yourself. I like that. Don't blame yourself. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Doctor. For sharing your story with us. I hope someone out there has found the answers to some of the questions through your courage. Stillbirths can be quite traumatic and could change the entire trajectory of families and sometimes just change people in total. I'd encourage you to share kind words, be supportive. They'll need it, especially at that point.